Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create interactive PDF like this. As you can see right now on your screen using tools like Autodesk Fusion 360 and Canva. So as you can see right now on your screen, this is the 3D model that I had prepared in Fusion 360 and I will create drawing from this technical drawing from this. So here you can see I will select. Now I will select like what is the seat size and A3 in this case and then I will press OK. And here you can see uh, now my drawing space is active and I'm able to place my views top view of my 3d model and i will press ok then i will save this one because i don't want to lose this drawing so the first thing i will do i will save this one now i will select i will delete all these border lines and this title block also because i don't need these ones then i will select my view then i'm going to change the scale so it fit, fits on my a3 page that i had selected so i think one is to one works well for this particular case uh yeah one is to one is the best scale so i will press close over here then i will project the uh, other view of this i think the two views are enough to define these models so now what i will do i will start defining all the dimensions and all the other stuffs like the center line and every details there. so if i'm giving this technical drawing to anyone he or she will be able to create this 3d model based on these technical drawings so here i am fast forwarding all the process of creating technical drawing so if you want to learn how to create technical drawings in fusion 360 effectively you can just comment below in the video i will create a separate video like how to take your 3d model and start creating technical drawings detailed technical drawings to define your 3d models completely that you can share with the workshop or with the person who is going to manufacture these parts so here you can see i am taking creating this i am defining this 3d model with all the necessary details and dimensions so whenever you will try to create or reverse engineer this part from these drawings you are not going to miss any of the damage So I will just finish defining all the dimensions as you can see right now on your screen. So just few dimensions left and we'll define these radiuses like this R1 and we'll make this typical because there are so many similar radius, radius in our part, filter radius in our part. So I will just include this typical option over here. So here you can see. And now uh, as you can see, this is ready. So I will just export it as a PDF file and I will press OK and i will make sure that it's saving on the right location with the right name so you have to make sure that your file name is correct and the location where you are saving your file is correct and i will click on save so here you can see it's getting exported as pdf now we'll go on to our folder and we'll check whether that is being exported or not and we'll try to open that pdf and we'll see how the parts look like how the pdf looks like so here you can see on the side we had kept some space as well and this is our technical drawing that we had prepared in Fusion 360. Now let's go back to Fusion 360. I will move this part with respect to the origin. Here you can see I'm just reorienting it to make it symmetric with uh, this origin. So whenever I will try to create an animation, it will uh, be able to rotate symmetrically around the origin. So that's why I'm just adjusting it, moving it and will press OK to uh, save the orientation. Now I will move on to my animation workspace from over here here you can see uh, now we are into animation workspace here uh, i will just move my timeline little bit and then i will select my part and will rotate it by 359 degree here you can see i will select this rotation 
handle and i will rotate it 359 degree and now if i try to play here you can see it's just rotating by 359 degree in eight seconds now i will export that as a video file i will press ok again i will make sure that it's saving on the right location and then i can just click on save here you can see it will take few seconds to export it this animation as a mp4 file or video file sorry it's not mp4 file but it's a video file so here you can see it's taking a few seconds and once it is ready i will just go back to my folder here you can see inside this folder, i will just go back to my before that i will just close this one save this one and will press ok and the work of fusion 360 is over so i will go on to the folder and will make sure that my pdf and my video is over here that we had just exported so here these are the two files that we're going to use now we'll move on to our browser internet browser and we'll open this canva tool here you can see so in my canva tool i already had the template ready so if you don't have any template ready you can start from the scratch as well so i will use this template for now so i will open that template and you can see these are the drawings i i had already been posting on my social media so i will make a copy of this one so i will click just click on the add page over here so new empty page got added and from this particular template i will take the title block and the top and the bottom text that uh, the, these informations i will just select these three title block the top and the bottom text and then i will copy those stuffs using uh, Control c on my keyboard then i will go on to my new page and i will paste it over here as just by pressing Control v so here you can see i will just paste it over here so here here we got it now i will change this one as a practice exercise 17 because practice exercise 16 i already posted on my social media and then i will also change the drawing number over here because i i normally used to create different drawing numbers for all the practice exercises and the moment i am done uh, with all these changes i will just go on to upload section over here and then i will click on upload files i will select both the pdf file that we had exported and that video file so i just had to locate onto the folder where i had saved those files so you can keep it on your desktop as well if you want egss so i will just go on to the folder where i had saved those files so here it is here is my folder yeah here this is my folder where i had saved my file i will select these two documents and i will click on open so here you can see those files is getting uploaded onto the canva workspace a file folder so we'll wait for a few seconds the moment it get uploaded i will move on to uh, so just wait for a few seconds it's still getting uploaded as you can see uh, on the left so now what we'll do we'll go on to the projects and here you can see this is the pdf that we had uploaded i will just make a click to bring it on my page so here it is so what i will do i will select everything uh, and i will make it a group i will make a right click and group this complete thing now what i will do i will cut it from over here i will press ctrl x then ctrl v onto the page that where we had uh, pasted our title block and the other stuff then i can resize it accordingly to fit onto the page that's why in the title block itself i had written a scale as nts not to a scale because i am manually adjusting the sizes of these technical drawings where you can see i had just uh, adjusted the drawing now on the side space we'll import the video file that we had imported in canva so again we'll go on to the upload section and here inside videos i will able to find all my videos so this is the eight second video file i will just click on it to bring it on our page then i will adjust the sides so uh, we are not taking extra space from all around our video so i will adjust from all the four sides to make my video is completely uh, crisp and also it's not taking any extra size and just by reducing this uh, size of this uh, video from all around will also be decreasing the file size for this particular thing so i will then i will just make it a little bit smaller and then i can reorient it to keep uh, keep it on the space because i want to rotate it by 90 degree so that we can do uh, let me just check where from where i can rotate yeah so i will select the file then i will get the rotate uh, rotate here you can see rotate handle so i will rotate it by like this vertically align vertically so it will be covering most of the space on my page then i will align it accordingly onto the page 
and here you can see since its background is white so the best way is to put it on the back background so what it will do the the title block and the other stuffs will just come on the onto the top whereas my video file is on the background so uh, it will be not be uh, overlapping on any of my objects so here you can see right now it's looking something like this then i will uh, i will adjust it accordingly more like i, I just want it uh, to be fit bell onto my page i don't want it to be uh, overlapping any of my objects so just i'm just trying it to figure out like where i had to place it exactly so the moment you are done with all these stuffs you are satisfied with the result what you can do you can just uh, send your video back onto the background and then you can click on this share icon then download and just change the file type as gif file format here you can see then i don't want all the four pages i only want the page four to be downloaded so i will deselect every other pages and i will select page four only then i will click on download and again it will take few seconds to download this gif file here you can see my file is ready it's just getting downloaded and here it is here you can see it just got download and if i open it you can see a very interactive pdf file that you have created using canva and fusion 360 so guys let me know if you had liked this video if the process is useful for you uh, if you want to create such kind of uh, animation files then just like my channel subscribe check my channel and support my video as well thank you so much for watching guys